So we have a very, very moldy tape here. And it looks like this is about to come off. Yeah. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sean with Emerald Coast Digitizing. I convert tapes and films to digital here in Pensacola, Florida. If you need someone to do this for you, check out my website, emeraldcoastdigitizing.com. Let's get on with the video. So I had a customer bring this tape in covered in mold and it's just the one tape. I'm going to go ahead and knock it out for this customer. First thing that needs to happen is we need to open it up because we don't want to put it through a player like this because one, it's going to completely dirty up our players. Also, there's a chance that it'll rip if it grabs on that mold. And then we have another problem. So we're going to open it up anyways if that happens. So the best thing to do, pull the reels out, inspect what's going on, and then put it on some kind of machine like this or in a rewinder and just kind of look and see. So we have a very, very moldy tape here. And it looks like this is about to come off. Yeah. That's okay. Make it easier to clean anyways. Because I put it on this guy here. And initially, we're just going to fast forward it and we're just going to see um, if we have any sticky issues. And it is sticking a little bit, but we'll just let it go and keep an eye on it. This first pass is super important. This machine can go quicker. I just really like to let it just go at a nice slow pace, just in case it does rip and uh, we can kind of assess that. But it really doesn't look like it's gonna rip on us. Since we have the top of this tape broken off, we can try to wipe it down a little. This is just a little bit of rubbing alcohol. We're just going to gently wipe that off. Oh, gross. And we are going to have to put this in a new reel because this is broken off. So I think I have an extra reel around here somewhere. Donors. So we'll put this tape on these reels just because these are breaking. And to do that, I've got to rewind this one all the way to the end. All right, so we're just gonna rewind this one all the way to the uh, left side reel. That way we can use the uh, use this reel for our tape. So this is looking pretty good, nearly to the end. All right, so we're gonna clip this off because we don't need this reel anymore. We just have to splice this on our new reel once we have it. It takes a while to <laughs> wind these things up. Okay. Oh. All right, so we're having a problem with this tape again. Boom. Your pocket. Why is there a So I think I need to stop this one. I am very clean. Y'all look very like dirty pussy on his face. Well, it's good all the way up to the birthday. And we got problems right there. Let's try a different player. This one again, too. Let's see. All right, now we're at the end on this. Come over here. I need to finish this real quick. Even on this top player, it's kind of jumping. This one came out good. Continue. 
So this one here is gonna have to go through a different player. It's not working on these two. I'm gonna pull a different housing. I'm gonna rehouse it too, just to see if that has anything to do with it. Six B. Tapes are fairly short, so it's not too bad. But when you're having problems like that, okay. So we're gonna start it right where Grandma shows up. See if our lines show up again. There they are. See, that's looking better. Some short. Alright, so this one's successfully playing well on this on this player here, so that fixed the problem. Sometimes you have to just try different players for different tapes. But yeah, it's looking way better. These are still looking good. I'll let that keep going. This one stopped. No. This is a failure. Going good. Just let those keep going. Good. Yeah, that was a problem part there. Now it's looking okay. Oh, it looks so much better than the last. Let's go. All right, let's go. Just moving right along. We've got our reel here. So we'll cut this off. all over my scissors stay still and that's why I put the moisture down like that so it will stay still so I just put it on some uh, some alcohol that way it holds it still and then I tape it on and that's how I splice them the leader tape splice so it doesn't need to be perfect it just needs to hold it Put that off to the side, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this piece right here. So what I'll do is I'll take the tape, make sure it's sitting on there flush, and I'm going to add a little bit of 91% uh, alcohol right here where the tape initially hits the pad. So I'm just cleaning out that front, that first part. All right, now since we have a longer leader tape, it, it allows it to go all the way past. So now we'll just send it through. And we'll just keep an eye on it and that should roll it up nice and clean. This is just cleaning the top and then uh, we'll flip it around and clean the bottom as well. We'll just we'll send it through twice. But I really like this method versus this method sometimes depending on the uh, tape. You know, as you can see here just already from the beginning it's already nice and clean. But it will need a second pass. So we'll let this just roll through that and uh, go ahead and finish up on our other stuff while it does that. So 
here I've got a couple of different uh, cleaners. They're both Geneva tape cleaners. Um, they are not really made to clean mold. They're more of a dust situation, but they do work with mold when it's very light. So it's not a, I don't mind putting these through. So we're going to do a dry pass on the fast forward. And then we'll do a wet pass on the end, on the other way. And we're just going to tape watch this to make sure it doesn't sticky shed on us or sticky tape on us but it does seem to be doing quite well it's not causing any issues it's going through perfectly fine this is a uh it, this was a, a send back from south tree and we're probably going to run into some problems right when we get around this little piece here but right there but we're going to keep an eye on it for sure. This one over here is looking good. Clean it up real nice. You can see all the mold and stuff that's coming off right there. That would have all been on our VCR if we put it in our player. This one here is getting close to the end. We'll go ahead and clip this and do what we did before. Toss this one because it's gross. We really should just use this tape housing as well. I probably will. Do our rubbing alcohol trick that holds everything in place for us. Trim off that excess. Otherwise it'll bunch up inside the reel. So we're gonna do another pass. And we'll let that go to the end. Most of this is just me not wanting to put moldy tapes in my player and contaminate all my other customers' stuff. Close to the end on this one. And things are looking nice and clean over here, guys. Look how clean that's looking. Put it through the Geneva tape cleaner just as a last pass. We're actually going to use the Mary Kate and Ashley tape that we just got. Put this on. That sounds good. Slide this side in. It's turning the way it's supposed to. There it is. Get hung up on something. Might need you. No, they're fine. These are fine. Oh, the spring came off of our thing. This thing's a pain. Let's put these back on. It's back on. And close this thing up. Guys, this is just how long it's taken for me to get these tapes ready to transfer. I haven't even started looking at transferring them yet. But we'll look at this. See if we can pull that label off. Man. Put that over Mary Kate and Ashley stuff. We're gonna put this through the Geneva tape cleaner as well, just to give it one last pass. And this will be a dry pass. This one here is ready to go. We replaced the whole thing. We put the tape on a whole new set of reels, and uh, a whole new tape housing that one customer so our tapes are finishing up over here and they all look way better 
Oh, that's great. That one was really problematic. It's nice to get it come through clean. So we're getting close. Once I put all these on the uh, drive, should be ready to go. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Pretty good. Just one second. All right, so this tape did finish. We uh, The one that we stopped and rewound and started over, it actually went all the way through this time without a problem. So doing the fast forward and rewinding and putting it into a manual adapter fixed the issue. So sometimes it's just the adapter, it's just the tape, it's just the age, it's just what it is. I keep having customers come in. I'm trying to get this stuff done. Uh, here's one of our moldy tapes here, and it's coming through great. And I've got a lot of reflections in here, but coming through nice and clean and we're just going to continue what we're doing like and subscribe check out these videos We've got lots of content on this channel 